and talk just very briefly about um, my master's research, master's thesis research that I did with Scratch, um, which is called JAWS. I got interested in the idea of reflective learning. So how can we help kids think about their own learning processes? Uh, and I decided to build a tool that integrates with Scratch to help with that, uh, and I called it JOTS. So here you can see a kid thinking about his own thinking about Scratch. That's what I was after. Um, theoretically, I, I decided to go for a broad picture of reflection in its cognitive and its emotional and its social aspects. Um, what is the temporal aspect of reflection? That's a less obvious one, perhaps. It's not just think about thinking and think about your feelings and thinking in the social context uh, about your own thinking. But it's also a way in which processes unfold over time. So what's this wipeout phenomenon? Well, we all know that learning processes don't unfold along a straight path. When you go from um, not knowing how to do something to doing something, you take a crazy winding path. You um, go through all sorts of dead ends and backtrack. Um, you go in circles and spirals sometimes. The problem is that when you get to the end, we all like to tell this story that I set out to do something, and then I did it. And it's actually very hard to remember what it was like to go through all of that messiness. But if you could somehow capture that, record it, remember it, and have it as a material uh, around which to, to, to talk about learning, it could be a very rich um, experience, I think. So I'd like to somehow counteract this wipeout phenomenon for people and help them understand their learning processes. So what I did was I built a little tool that integrates with the, job, with the Scratch user interface that um, is a little panel that sits at the bottom left. And it's a little bit like Twitter. You write a brief um, update about what you're doing as you're doing it. Uh, and it sends along a screenshot that you can um, use to show what you're doing at that moment. And then those little updates, which I call Jots, get pushed up to the website. There are prompts to help you um, decide what to write about, such as I'm thinking about, or I'm excited because, or this is frustrating because, or you can just use a blank one and write out whatever you're, you're thinking about. And then there's some other comments too. Uh, and so I tried this out with kids. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead to one of the case studies in the interest of time. Uh, and I worked with um, just a small group of kids over the course of a month um, with the job system, working one-on-one -on -one with them. And each time we would look at their previous jobs, and at the end we looked at their whole history of jobs. And one of the really interesting things that happened with this one kid, Eddie, um, was that he had a fascinating moment of frustration partway through the process. He was building this complex um, role-playing game battle system. You can see a little screenshot of it there. <clears throat> he was kind of replicating the, the way in which uh, you battle in the Final Fantasy series. Um, and he had a complicated bug, which I won't go into, but he couldn't figure it out. And he got stuck, and he got stuck, and he got frustrated. Um, when we went over his sequence of jobs at the very end, I asked him to read them through, and I noticed that he had skipped one of them, where he wrote from about halfway through a process, oh, the death sequence isn't working. The main character wouldn't die correctly. Um, and I noticed that he skipped that one because he didn't want to talk about it. And so I drew his attention to it, and I saw him visibly recall and experience again that frustration. He said, well, the main character wouldn't wouldn't die, and you could just attack again, you could attack again, you could attack again. And so he was actually recalling that, that frustrating, repetitive experience. And that led to a really interesting conversation about frustration. So what I found was that having the jots there as a kind of grounding for a conversation about a learning process uh, allowed us to bring that frustration back into the room when otherwise it would have been completely lost and talk about it and learn from it. So that's a little bit about jots, my master's thesis research. <clears throat>